love authentic people, but we find it so hard to be authentic ourselves. And listen, it's not like we mean to deceive anyone, right? We're just wired to, to try to fit in. What is authenticity? Authenticity is you know who you are, you know what your values and your vulnerabilities are, and you're not afraid to show them. You don't need to put up a front to think that you're gonna be accepted by other people. When we are authentic, we are happier, we are more fulfilled, and this is especially true at work. It increases job satisfaction, productivity. You want to give your best because you feel like you belong. And personal well-being. We make those meaningful connections. We increase belonging. And in the post-COVID world, that sense of belonging is more important now than ever. So you may be asking yourselves now, Mariana, that's great. So how do I start? It's about being perfectly you. I need you to ditch all of these notions of perfection out the window. And the question for you now is, what are you covering? I want to introduce this concept of covering because covering, those are the things that we, we kind of hide about ourselves because we think that they don't jive with this idea of success, of the successful person that we have in our minds. We cover what we are ashamed of when we look in the mirror, when we look at our resumes. And the ironic thing about covering is this, you cover to belong when covering erodes that sense of belonging. So when I started out in news, I was covering a lot and I wasn't standing out in the marketplace. I was struggling to find that job that was gonna catapult my career. And I remember one of my early mentors she said to me, Mariana, when I look at your news reports, they just, it doesn't even seem like you. They're kind of very blah. And she said, what are you covering? Why are you covering all these things about yourself that I find so fascinating and interesting? She asked me to make a list early on about the things that I didn't love too much about myself. And this is what my little list looked like. So I was from, I am from South America. But I was from somewhere different for somebody who wanted to make it in broadcasting at the top networks in this country. English is not my first language, so I have a bit of an accent. And I have an uncommon name. My full name is Mariana del Carmen Atencio Cervoni. One of those very long Spanish names. Thank you so much. Thank you. Gracias. So I went back to her, I'm like, listen, lady, what do you want me to do with all this? This is my identity. I can't change any of this. Like, you wanted to make me feel better, I actually feel worse about myself. And she said, you don't need to change these things. You need to flip the script. So the fact that I come from somewhere different means, hey, why don't you tell a recruiter or a manager, I can cover Latinos, I can cover immigration better than most people, because guess what? I'm from there, I'm living and breathing it firsthand. The fact that English is in my first language, hey, I can anchor the news in Spanish and English. In fact, the way that I climbed up in the news business, I rose in Spanish language and then I crossed over to NBC News in the English language. It's an untraditional path. The traditional path is you go to a small market and from there you end up at a place like NBC Network News. I carved my own path based on these things that I felt so insecure about, but because I doubled down on my authenticity. It's not about being perfect, remember, it's about being perfectly you.